this video demonstrates the usage of new system error magic add plugin. Let's start with insert air handling unit command. The ductwork has already been balanced in magic add. Notice that the airflow and pressure drop requirement of the ductwork are available. Insert command is started from system air ribbon panel. User is prompted to select the ductwork to where the air handling unit will be connected to. Plugin automatically reads the airflow and the pressure drop from the selected ducts. System air cat opens. Notice that the airflow and external pressure fields have been automatically filled with the values read from MagicAd. User now proceeds to product selection. After that, the selected air handling unit can be configured in the drawing tab. Once the unit is dimensioned, user can return to CAD by clicking the CAD plugin export button. If the project is not saved yet, it can be done now. Exported air handling units are listed on the view located on the left side of the dialog. Magic at system selections can be set for each duct connection. Technical details of the selected product are available on the right side of the dialog. Preview of the unit is available above the technical date. Air handling unit can be placed to the drawing by clicking the insert button. The unit is connected to the ductwork once it's first properly positioned in the drawing. After that, the ductwork can be balanced again in MagicAd. Let's take a look at the update command next. Let's say that the airflow requirement of some rooms is changed for some reason or another. Airflows are easily updated to air terminal devices with magic at change properties command. Once the airflows have been updated, the balancing calculation needs to be run again. Notice that the calculation gives a warning that the airflow is under recommended minimum value. This means that the air handling unit should be updated to correspond to the new working point. The update command is again started from System Air Magic at Plugin Ribbon panel. User is first prompted to select the unit to be updated. System Air Guide is started and Open Project dialog is displayed. User should now choose the project which contains the inserted unit. Updated working point is filled to the corresponding fields in System Air Guide. User just simply redimensions the unit and then clicks CAD plugin export button in order to return to the CAD. Plugin informs that the air handling unit have been successfully updated. For example, the sound generation data have been updated to correspond to the new working point. 
Magicat balancing calculation can now be run again in order to make sure that there is no more warnings displayed. With View Air Handling Unit Data command, user can view the technical details of the selected product. Let's have another example of update command usage. In this case, the airflow requirement of the ductwork drops significantly. It, it could increase as well. The idea is just to show what happens if the size of the air handling unit is changed during the update. After updating the airflows, the balancing calculation needs to run again. Calculation results displays warning that the airflow is under recommended minimum value. User proceeds by updating the air handling unit. Again, user opens the same project as before. Because the airflow requirement is significantly lower, it is possible to change to a smaller size. After the unit is dimensioned, user returns to CAD. Install dialog opens. Notice that the auto replace check connections text next to the product. This means that the original unit has been replaced with the smaller size. Because of the replace operation, new air handling unit needs to be connected to the ductwork again. Last example of update command shows how silencer can be added to the project with update command. We are using Topvex units as an example here. User adds silencer to the supply system in the drawing tab and then dimensions the unit. Notice that the auto updated text next to the Topvex unit it informs user that the existing unit has been auto-updated. New silencer can now be inserted to a drawing manually. New system air Magicat plugin includes also a separate validation command. It validates that the selected air handling unit still meets the requirements of the current working point. In this example, user has made some changes to the ductwork and now wants to validate the air handling unit against the new working point. Notice that the validation recommends user to update the air handling unit. User can easily start the update command from the same dialog. Air handling unit is redimensioned in System AirCAD and then returned back to CAD. If validation is now run again, we can see that the air handling unit now meets the requirements of the ductwork. Last example demonstrates the usage of import command. Import command allows importing of air handling units that have first been exported to a file from System Arcad. Exported file can then be delivered to the designer who is using plugin with Magicad or with pure AutoCAD. I have created a demo project in System Arcad which contains three different air handling units. Export file command can be found under the file menu. Export file is created by clicking export to Magicat plugin button. It creates a MAF file which is supported by the plugin. 
there is usually two different persons involved with when this feature is used. The one that exports the file in SystemRCAD and the one that uses the plugin import command. Once the file is loaded with the plugin, the same install dialog is displayed. List contains all the products included in SystemRCAD project. Notice the insert button next to each unit. If user do not want to insert some of the units, they can be unchecked. Products can be inserted to a drawing one by one. Sound generation data can be viewed by double-clicking the connection point. And that's basically it. Thanks for watching the video.